Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ace and today I have another amazing product to share with you today. This right here is B-Link Sear 4 4800U. It's a miniature PC that compacts some serious hardware that can even rival most desktops. In this video, I'll provide you a full review of this device and why I decided to use this as my main computer for editing. As always, we'll start things off with an unboxing. You have full details and specs of your units displayed around the box. Sliding off the sleeve, let's take a look at what's inside. The first is the user manual with different languages covering all the bases of the unit. Moving along, you have the main device, but we'll just put that aside for now so that we can discuss the rest of the inclusions. The accessories box will contain all your connectivities such as the long and short HDMI cable, a 12 volt DC power adapter, and lastly mounting brackets if you want to mount the device to the back of your monitor or desk. With the unboxing out of the way, let's move on over to the main course. When it comes to the design, you can see that it's rocking that sleek colorway of black and red. Starting with the front side, you have a reset hole to clear the CMOS. This is if you tinker with the BIOS and you want to restore the motherboard back to its factory settings. To the right of that, you have two Gen 3 USB Type-A. Following along, you have a USB Type-C connection that also has the option of displaying a 4K resolution. Next to that is a 3.5mm headphone jack, and lastly, the power button. On the back side, you have three ventilations for airflow, and for the connectivities starting from the left, there is a gigabit LAN port for your Ethernet connection, there are two USB Type-A connections, but one is Gen 3, while the other is Gen 2. For the display, you have two connections for HDMI 2.0, which can also display up to 4K resolution. And if you were to combine all of them together with the USB Type-C output, that means that you can have up to three displays at the same time that can output 4K resolution each. Unfortunately, it does cap out at 60Hz, so don't expect too much from that if you have a high refresh rate monitor. Lastly, to power the device, you can just use the DC input with the power supply that comes included. Looking at it, I still can't believe how small this unit is. It's truly amazing how they're able to compact all of that with what it's limited to. But with that said, let's get into the internals to see what the components are. You can open the device by removing the four screws around the corners. Be careful prying it open because of the cable that is connected. It can be removed temporarily by opening the latch from the connectivity. This CPU features AMD's Ryzen 7 series. This is a 4800U edition with an 8-core, 16-thread, 1.8GHz processor with the option of overclocking upwards to 4.2GHz. For the graphics, it's all integrated from the CPU with Radeon graphics. The storage comes installed with a 512GB M.2 PCIe SSD that is upgradable up to 2TB. You also have the added option of installing a 2.5 inch SATA drive that is already connected by the ZIF cable to the motherboard, so you can just simply insert that into the slot with no additional effort. For the memory, you have two SODOM slots supporting up to 64GB, but this model includes two sticks of crucial 16GB DDR4 3200MHz memory, giving it a total of 32 gigs. If you don't have the option to use the Ethernet port, this device does include built-in Wi-Fi so you can connect it to the internet either way. Wrapping that up, the hardware is cooled down by using an internal cooler and transmitting the heat outwards through the ventilations. The compatibility for this unit comes installed with your choice of Windows 11 or Linux Ubuntu. The model that I have features Windows 11 so let's just connect everything together, power it up, and then run some benchmarks. We're using Cinebench, which is a common software used for CPU benchmarking. Setting it to the multi-core settings to take advantage of the 8-core processor, this ranks it in 7th place when compared to other chips. I'm not going to be using it much for gaming, but since we already have it, we might as well try it out. Perhaps I'll do a follow-up video showcasing the performance with other games, but for now, we'll just keep it limited to 3 games.
Alright, now for the main purpose of this device. I mentioned earlier that I will be using this primarily for video editing. The software I'm using is Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm using the CPU as the encoder for the footage as well as exporting when I render. In case you didn't know, I shoot all my videos in 4K at a bitrate around 10 megabytes, and this device can pretty much do it all. Playback and editing 4K video footage was buttery smooth. The video you're currently watching was all done on this device, and if you're interested in a follow-up video focusing on the process of video editing and just digital effects in general to showcase what this device can really do, then let me know. To wrap things up, but let's go over the price. The model that I have here retails for $700 and can be purchased on Amazon for either 2 days or same day shipping using Prime. It's also available to be purchased on Banggood for global shipping, but international users should be wary of import fees depending on your country. The other option is to purchase it from the website itself, which I will include links to all directories in the description below. Most high-end computers, especially in this day of age, will cost you thousands of dollars. But for a small and compacted device like this, that is also portable can even rival those builds and is available for less than half the price. I'm extremely happy with this device and I'm glad that I could use it as my dedicated PC strictly for editing. That will conclude my review of B-Link Seer 4 4800U. If there is something that I failed to mention or if there is something specific with this product that you want me to test for a future video, then please let me know. Thank you as always for your feedback and for supporting this channel. And until we meet again, take care.